Hey what's up guys it's Marf and welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video. Today we have a short little news blog about the future of multiplayer world series. There are a couple of changes coming to actually the next season. I assume this won't need an update or anything like that so this will just apply to the next season. But yeah let's go over the two changes. The first change here they say is how rewards are allocated. The score distribution has been adjusted even if the pool of players is not full. This way you will be able to receive the same rewards and keep climbing the rankings regardless of the matchmaking result. It will be easier for you to advance in the league. So this means that as far as I can interpret, let's say you're going up in a one versus one instead of going up only, you know, like five or so points, you'll get the full amount of rating for that race. I assume this will affect Legend League the most because that is where the player base is the smallest. We'll have to see how the ELO system adjusts to the different leagues. Like I said, usually when you're in the lower leagues, you'll probably not experience this issue. But once you get higher and higher, maybe towards the end of the season, especially in Platinum League, and you're really trying hard to get Legend League, this is going to be a really good change. The second change is a more accurate decay in the ELO system System depending on your final rank at the end of the season. After a multiplayer season, your series score won't necessarily be reset to the Bronze League. So depending on the league that you finish in, your new multiplayer score will range between around 1000 and 1160. Now these numbers are subject to change in the future, I assume they will, but they also go on to explain that if you have finished the season between Gold and Legend League, you will start in Silver. However, the higher you finish in the previous season, the closer your starting multiplayer score will be to the next league. And again, like I mentioned before, this change will be reflected at the end of the upcoming season, so it'll start at the new season. And they do say in order to receive the rewards of the new multiplayer season, you'll have to raise at least once to win those rewards. So the wording in this article is a bit confusing in my opinion because they mention score, series score, and ELO. So it's hard to tell whether or not both of these changes applies to both the rating of your actual league progression, so gold, legend, that kind of thing, and I assume at least the first one will because they directly say it. However, in the second one, it's hard to say whether or not they're talking about your actual rank, like I said before, or series score because they mentioned both. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that they mean both, so I think what they're trying to say is once you play the next season, you'll start out in Silver League if you reach Legend League, which isn't really that big of a deal in my opinion because going from Bronze to Silver is really easy, but it does mean that as soon as you complete your first race in Silver League, you'll just get all of the Series Score rewards for going to Bronze League. While these changes aren't inherently massive, although I would say that the first change of having the same amount of ELO rating, even if there are only a couple of players in the lobby, is the bigger change, this is still very nice to see. And they do say that these changes are because of the surveys that they are sending out called the Asphalt Board. So if you do get a pop-up for those surveys, I highly recommend you take them and give your feedback because it does seem like they are actually changing the game based on our feedback, which is always awesome to see. Hopefully we'll get more multiplayer changes in the near future. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on these changes in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys later.